Oh, yeah, hi there. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about this guy right here, rest props. Okay, and if we console.log that here, you'll see it's empty for app. But basically what this does is catch all the props that are passed in to a component. It catches all of them that are not caught here, export, let, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. So if we put this here, we're going to json.stringify this rest, oops, dollar sign, dollar sign rest props okay so right now there are no props that aren't caught so label here um, is caught by a label right there but let's say I want to pass in something random like ABC equals high you'll see it catches that there so why would you want to use this so this could be useful for an input such as this one where you might want to spread the dot, dot, um, rest props so then I can pass in any attribute on a normal input without explicitly checking for it. So obviously I probably wouldn't do ABC, but you know I could do something like uh, required. So now it's required even though I don't, I haven't explicitly said that it's required. Like I haven't made it a prop here. And I could also, I just learned about this, I could give it a size of 66. And now it's really long. I didn't even know it had this. Let's just say six. Okay, so I can pass in any input, uh, just normal input um, attribute and it'll get passed into this right here. Okay, so um, it's similar to props, but what props does is catch all of them. So it does label required size. So everything that's passed in. But rest props, uh, pretty useful. I mean, it's not recommended to use um, because it, Svelte can't optimize it, but um, that's what it's there for. And now I have a, a required size six. So you see it's required when I click on it. Please fill out. Another thing I just learned is you can click on the label here and that will um, focus the input. Okay, so that is rest props and that's all for this video. Bye.